Okay, thanks for hanging out. Let's make some envelopes with the We Are Memory Keepers Envelope Punch Board. It has a built-in punch at the top that serves two functions. We'll check those both out in just a little while. There's a ruler at the top of the board to show you exactly where to place your paper depending on the size of envelope you're making. There's a groove on the front of the board that works with a bone folder. The bone folder slides easily in and out of the slot in the back. You'll find a printed chart on the front that tells you what size to cut your paper based on the size of the envelope you would like. The first envelope I'm making is for a five and a quarter by four and a half inch card. So you can see in the close up, I need to cut a sheet of paper to eight and an eighth by eight and an eighth inches. I'm using my tonic guillotine trimmer to cut my paper to size. Checking again for my place on the ruler, I'm lining up the top left corner of my paper with the three and three quarter inch mark like the chart says. I'm placing the tip of my bone folder in the notch under the punch piece. I'll find the groove under my paper with the tip of the bone folder and pull straight down the groove to score the paper until I reach the bottom of the groove. I'm turning the paper one quarter turn to the left. And here's the trick. I don't line my paper up to the three and three quarter mark again on the ruler. See that score line in the paper? This time I'll line the score line up with that little plastic piece that sticks out, uh, making sure to push my paper up against the top edge and then make another score line. At this point, I'll also punch the paper by pushing down firmly on the blue button. You can see a notch in the paper that will assist me later. Now I just repeat the process for all sides of the paper, lining up the previous score line, making a new score line, and punching the paper. I should have done this for the first score line, but I forgot. When I'm done, I'll turn the paper over and fold and burnish each score line with my bone folder. Looking at the envelope board again on the opposite side of where I had the paper, there's a large notch that contains a corner punch. To give my envelope a more polished look, I can insert the top and bottom flaps into the notch to round my corners. I know which edges will be the top and bottom because they're the two wider sides. A pro tip for making an envelope is to put adhesive on the bottom edges of the side panels rather than the bottom panel. This is so you don't accidentally glue the middle of your envelope shut before your card even goes in. Now my thick shaker card will fit in there with plenty of room to spare. I can just tape it shut whenever I'm ready to send it. To make a larger envelope, in this case for a 5x7 card, the same things apply. I cut down a 12x12 12 12 piece of cardstock to 9.5 by 9.5 inches and lined my paper up to the 4 inch mark. A larger piece of paper like this one, I need to score my paper as far as I can and then fold carefully or scoot it so I can finish the score line. Then just like before, I'll rotate the paper a quarter turn to the left and line up the score line with the blue tab and score again, remembering to punch as I go. I'll round my corners on the flaps once again for a nice finished look. I'll turn the paper over and fold and score all sides. A little adhesive like before and my envelopes are done! I've linked all of the tools I've used today in the description box below. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you'd like to see more, tap that subscribe button and click like. Don't forget to smash the little bell so you know when I've birthed my next video. See you soon.